Welcome back, guys. In today's video, we're going to take a deeper dive into Mike Leach's air raid attack against Alabama earlier this season. Our first play is an inside zone run versus a hyperlight box here out of the spread two by one set. So we'll start with our O line, then we'll work right to left with the receivers. So the O line is all going to zone block to the right. All right. Now you can do it this way and have your right guard kick out and your center and left guard work up to the middle backer together and read this backside DN. Or you can cap the backside DN and left guard just blocks him. Center works up, reaching the middle backer. Right guard kicks out. Running back A-gap zone, aiming for it. And you could have him with the option to bounce it. If you bang it inside right there with the blocking correctly, then you got a nice run. Now, honestly, this is just a simple zone run play to try if you're a team that sees some pretty light boxes. Now, your receivers can just run Occupy routes. But I would have the number three receiver here, the pink receiver, block this corner. With us running that ball to the right side, you might as well have him block him, at least get in his way. All right, so let's take a look at how Mississippi State ran this play. Okay, so the first play here, we've got inside zone against Alabama. So you can see they're in a very hyper light box. Only five guys in the entire box against Mississippi State's 5-0 line. What Mississippi State does here is they cap the backside and they're running A-gap zone to the right. So let's just run it through. A nice play, nice move overall by the running back. But what they do is they're going A-gap zone. So they're aiming for that right A-gap. You can see the DN stunts into the A-gap. So... He cuts it out to the B gap, squeaks through. Here's one more look at that inside zone. Nice play. Our next play is sail out of a two by one against a three two defense. So we'll start with the O line. Again, we're just going to base block, which means center's got nose, guards got D ends. All right, that's our base pass protection, man on man. And now let's go right to left with our receivers. So our number one receiver here, the pink receiver, he's got a fade. If corner's pressing, it's mandatory outside release fade just to get by. It's an occupy route more than anything. We're hoping to draw this safety's attention and the corner. Against cover three zone, we're hoping to draw them both. He's our deep man, and that's hopefully going to take the attention off of our number two, who's going to run the deep sail. When I say deep, I'm talking about six to ten yards. And against cover three or man, this is just tough to defend. This speed out right here. Even if it's manned on, it's tough to defend. So that's where we want to go with the football. He's our number two in the progression. So we'll go number one. Number one is here. Number two is here. And then you can tag whatever you want on the backside here. We'll put a, a backside cross for now. Um, you can also put a quick slant. You could even put a dig. Something that makes it an easy, natural progression, one, two, and three to the backside. So let's take a look at how Mississippi State ran this play. All right, so here we've got fourth down and five. Alabama's manned up. Again, a really hyper-light box. They've got five guys, but they really spread out their D-line to try to bring some edge rushers, get some heat on this throw because it's fourth down. So here's where Mississippi State's going sail. This guy's got the fade. He's got the speed out to the sticks against man with off coverage from the safety. The sale is open. Here we go. Hits him for a nice 10, 9 to 10 yard gain on fourth down and five is all they needed. But perfect throw delivered on time. Again, off coverage against the, the sale. He gets his hips turned and breaks it perfectly past the sticks. First down. Our next play is another two-by-one set against a 3-2, but this play is a tunnel screen. It's actually a double screen, but we're going to throw the tunnel. All right, so we have our running back running a swing screen with a receiver blocking head up here. O-line is all going to release on the screen, so our right guard is going to hit inside, release up to the right linebacker. Center is going to hit the nose, release left. Left guard is going to hit the DN, and this is key. He must release inside to the left linebacker. If he outside releases, that's going to pull this D end, a good D end, in a 3-2 defense and 8-man, right into where our tunnel screen is at. So he must release inside. 
Our number two receiver is going to be responsible for blocking the corner, especially in man. And our number one receiver is going to run the tunnel. So he's going to get one or two steps vertical, back down the line, and through the alley. All right. The quarterback is going to open right, fake like he's throwing the swing, and then come right back to the left and dump the ball over top of the D-line to our tunnel screen. So let's take a look at how Mississippi State ran this play. This actually comes on first down. So you can see our guard and our tackle are going to release to the inside. Our slot is going to go block the corner. Number one is going to set him up and release right in that alley. And the ball is going to be out quick. Let's check it out. And a nice nine-yard gain on first down. Some easy yardage. One more time. Our final play is just a speed option out of the spread set. So all we're going to do is block this like zone, so zone left in this case because we're going speed option left. So our left guard is going to get to the left backer. Center is going to get to the left side of the nose. Right guard is going to get to the right backer. And then we have our pitch key, which is the lefty in. We're going to attack him straight at him. Make him make us give up the ball. All right. Running back is going to keep three by one pitch relationship. And there's the pitch. If he doesn't make his pitch, quarterback can keep it. Stick his foot in the ground, get yardage, especially in short yardage situation, third, fourth down and one. We need the yards. Just go get it. All right. So there's that. Let's take a look at how Mississippi State ran the speed option. Fourth down and two situation. So they're running speed option. Typical Mike Leach with an extremely gutsy call. Quarterback run on fourth down from a speed option. All right, so let's check it out. And they actually blocked the D end here. He's actually a little inside of the tackle. So they're using the next level defender to be the pitch key. Ends up being the safety. He comes all the way down, commits to the run, so the quarterback keeps it and picks up just enough for the first down. Let's see it one more time, and then we'll go to the sky cam. Let's switch over to the sky cam. As you can see in the sky cam view, they tried to get this guard up inside the linebacker going here, pitching off the first threat, first threat into the gap, into that C or D gap in this case. And it happens to be the safety. So the quarterback keeps it and picks up first down yardage, barely. So there you go. There's a little deeper dive into Mike Leach's air raid attack against Bama earlier this year. Now, I was definitely not lucky enough to know Coach Leach or any major college football coach for that matter, but I learned all about him growing up watching Big 12 football, and I read his book shortly after I got into coaching, and just a phenomenal human being. Seriously, just one of a kind, you know, with his unique style and demeanor, and definitely left a great impact on the football world. And that's going to wrap it up for today's translation video. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. That's the easiest way to reach me. If you enjoyed this video or took away anything from it, please click subscribe. Check out some of my previous videos right here in the middle of the screen. And like always, thanks for watching.